Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 4 of our Crash, or Crash, Spyro Heroes Tale Let's Play. And, so we're doing the Sergeant Bird level today. Sorry chap, but only birds and air force pilots can get up there. And I happen to be both of those things. Right, shall I take on this flying challenge? I suppose so, I honestly don't remember these challenges, so I don't remember if they're hard or not. Oh, it's a time trial. I also changed controllers to like my Xbox Series SX controller, so hopefully that'll help. Uh, rings, time gates, targets, norks, vultures, and okay. How do we fire? Oh, it's uh, R1. That's really weird, honest to God. Like. It just feels really weird. Also, these Norks do look kind of cool. Also, how did you miss him? The music here is pretty good, too. I hope I have the audio good this time. It was really weird when I rebooted it. Like, the audio just became really weird. That's also, like, a thruster pack that you can use. Oh, you actually get time for the arches, I'm assuming. Yeah, I have to press R2 to use the thruster boost, but we don't have any because they're always out of the way, you know? Why did that go, like, the direction it went in? That was weird. Oh, I guess it did technically target something. Let's kill these vultures first. This is, like, really random. It's, like, a mix of, uh, the different Spyro games' enemies and stuff that you normally find in a speedway. But they made it really weird. Did we kill that Nork? Okay, good, we killed the Nork, which means that all we have left... Wait, how do I use the boost if, uh... Oh, it's it's square. That's not at all a convenient button location, man. Oh, man. Oh, God, I don't like that very much. Oh, there's another one of those. We only need one more, and we still have two minutes, so we should be good. And there it is! Woohoo! We finished the level! Nice! Now I do believe we have to go back for a harder version of the challenge for a light gem. It's always an egg, and I believe it's the dark blue one. Ridiculous. Yeah, dark blue. Uh, yeah, why not? I had to scratch my ear. My Fitbit keeps getting stuck to the earphones. I have to use a special... A minute 42? Yeah, and they're in random spots now, by the way. It's no longer, like, stationary. I never liked this feature about this game. Was how they did the, uh, the speedways. I just don't understand how or why they have to make it so... Like, the, it's randomized. Like, you couldn't just come up with, like, a different challenge entirely. You're just like, no, nah, let's let's just randomize the exact same level just to make it more annoying, you know? And we don't have any thruster juice. God. And just one bump and you're, like, knocked way down. Okay, yeah, we'll see if we can destroy that vulture down there, which we did. And destroy that vulture just because I'll probably not remember where they are. And we kind of want to remember them, and ooh. We finished one of the items already, that's pretty good. We only need two more Norks. We only need one more of those, too. Wait, that didn't count as flying through it, game? Is, did this game just troll me by going through the ring, but not actually going through the ring? And I love video games sometimes. They're flawless, don't you guys think? I get every game has its flaw, but there are a few games, though, that are genuinely perfect and don't have any flaws. Maybe because they're a simplistic game, and they're, they don't require that much, uh, like, power or complexity. But lots of them, lots of them do have flaws. Most games have at least one or two flaws, you know? Alright, I don't really care about collecting the gems, because collecting those gems is not very convenient. Also, where the heck are the last of the enemies? And nuggets. Where is everything in this level? Wait a second. I see you up here. Can you can you die? Thank you. 
Now we just need vultures and rings. Well, there's a vulture. Another vulture. How did you not hit that one? Now where's the last ring? Ring. Ring! No. Don't tell me I'm gonna fail because we can't find one ring. Where the frick was the ring? Oh my lord. Yeah, he says tally ho when he gets up. I just realized that. That's ridiculous. Did you seriously just miss the guy that was like right in front of your face game? Well, we almost have all the Norks already, which is cool. Still have no idea where I missed that ring, though. Oh, there's the vultures that are kind of chillaxing down here. There's that guy. Oh, more vultures. Get the ones that are kind of like out of the way first. Alright, we only got two more vultures after this one to go. And then there's four of these here, which is super convenient. I love how like this spot always says four the exact same item. You know, just kind of chilling there. And we also have zero rings. But I kind of want to wait to get them. Because that way we at least can, you know... Oh, I just realized there's no thruster uh, fuel in this. Also, the... Uh, the number there, once it hits below uh, a minute, looks really, really, really odd. Oh, Vulture. And that wasn't the final Vulture, which is scary, because I don't want to fail this. Oh, there we go. Goodbye, Vultures. Alright. Now we just gotta kill the one Nork, which we know where he is. The Nork is up here. But where are the, all the rings? Like... Wait, we already killed that one? Really? Why does it automatically kill that one, but not the other one? Alright, where are all the rings, though? Did the rings spawn over here by chance, or do they only spawn over here? I feel like the one that we missed was in a very random spot, because... They all seem to be, like, right here. And then there's just that one that seemed to have eluded me. And see, once again, we're missing that one ring. Where is it? Where's this one ring? Like, ring. Ring. Where the frig is this ring? Like, I don't even see it. Like, where is it? Okay, now I'm not playing around, game. Where is the stupid ring, and what did you do with it? Apparently made shot a vulture at some point there from a long-distance snipe. So that's kind of funny. The randomness, like, like you just, like, it locks onto so many things that it's kind of funny, like, where it actually goes. And I find it kind of redonkulous. Alright, let's grab some of these rings again and see if we can figure out where the frick the last one is. Because we're always missing just one. Wait, don't... I just realized where the last one was and I'm just an idiot. It's in here. Duh. I've seen it every single time. Okay, that was on me, guys. I apologize. I'm an idiot sometimes. Let's see if I can snipe that guy. Sniped. Did we kill this guy? We did kill this guy. How the heck did we manage that game? I don't even know. We just did. And I should have ate something before recording. This is... Uh, now my stomach's going to be going raw the entire time. Don't do anything starved, guys, because that's not fun. Don't tell me I'm going to miss one of those now, just to be like, Oh, yeah, you missed it. Goodbye, Valchirion. Oh, no, there's that one. Now, is it the guy? Oh, I thought it was the guy in the tunnel, but no, we did it, finally. That was way easier. I don't know why we failed it so miserably the first two times, but not an issue this time. I'll take it. Yeah, the new controller I'm using is way better.
You don't even have any like badges or stripes. No, that is not fun. That is just janky. Now, I remember where we actually need to go. We actually need to go to the professor's machine because that's how we get to the next level. Because unlike other Spyro games, there are no portals in this game. And also those weird invisible hitboxes. Oh my god, these enemies, like, they hit you before you can even hit them. That or they're just really dumb. Now, can we uh, leave your lab, please, sir? Haha. -ha. Alright, I wanna see something. I gotta change. I think I'll turn this up and then this down. I think because sound effect also includes voiceovers. And like the music and stuff being too loud is not good, but now. Where was this machine? Do you guys remember? Oh yeah, it was through the nursery, right? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Um, yeah, right here. I believe we have enough light gems now. Alright, Spyro. This ball gadget is ready to roll. <laughs> Did you hear that? I just made a joke. Wow, you made a joke. Okay, Spyro. Just step onto the pad and activate it and the ball gadget will materialize. Yay, ball gadget. It's an atmosphere, but for Spyro. Oh yeah, so circle you can kind of get a dash thing going on. Woo! Oh, I forget if there's like any collectibles in here though. This is not fun to play on though. Let's let's be real there guys. This is not fun. And to do like the the cool maneuvers, you got to All right. So, okay, no. It just looks like you have to do it this specific way. Wow, are these supposed to be a threat? There's a gold gem up there. Is that a reward? A gold gem? Ooh, gold gem. Wow, gold gem is worth way more than 10 gems in this game, so maybe it is worth it. Wait a minute, there's an exit there, but then what's over here? Oh, just gems, okay. Maybe maybe there isn't anything in here. I was like wondering if there's any collectibles or anything like that. Also, the camera is really being annoying because it won't turn around. Sheesh, there we go. Do you wish to stay in the ball gadget? Select no to exit. It's a really weird choice, but... Now we should be at Dragonfly Falls. Here we are. The last level of the first world. Oh, hi Zoe. Um, are you not gonna save my progress? Why are you even here? Oh yeah, funny thing is, um, wanna see something silly? You can actually do that. I think they patched it at some point though, because it, it, it looked way funnier when you do that. Also, why are there crocodiles at the waterfall? Aren't you guys like supposed to be in Crocoville Swamp, not Dragonfly Falls? Shouldn't this be like full of dragonflies? Wow, that is definitely not suspicious at all. Definitely not worth a ton of money either, holy cow. I forget, do I have a key? I don't even know if I have a key. Also, I think we get to play as two new characters here. Well, if we don't have a key or not, I guess we'll figure that out now. Oh, we do have a key. Nice. What is this? Free light gem. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, um, fun fact. Not all chests actually have something useful in it, by the way. Some chests actually have gems. Oh! Another fun fact, there's an enemy that comes back here that was in Spiral 1, and only in Spiral 1. Um, I don't know when we find him, because he is here, but... 
Oh yeah, I forgot you gotta double jump to do the stupid poundy poundy thing. That that still makes no sense why you have to double jump to do the pound. Ah, bats! That don't drop gems, but come swarming. Oh, we got a dark crystal. How many dark crystals are here? Four, six eggs, and nine light gems. So the levels are kind of actually, um, not equal when it comes to, like, totals. And boom! We opened up a skylight, which I guess the sunlight's gonna destroy these vines, which makes no sense, because plants need light. Um, why did it turn me around like that? That was weird. Wasn't even the way I was facing. Oh, it's another one of the pink eggs. I think they're exploration eggs. Same with the, uh, the fire eggs. The ones that look like they're fire. I think those are just exploration eggs. Blue ones are the bird eggs. Um, they each have, like, a, a reason to why they're, like, a certain color. And we'll find out that once we start unlocking the unlockables. And like I said, we do plan on trying to get 100%. I don't remember if I... I don't know if I remember where everything in this game is, because it's been freaking ages since I played this game. We'll try and... Oh, hey, money bags. Hey, Steep Canyon. We need to buy ourselves another uh, key. Can we buy any power-ups? Oh, yeah, we can take get the extra hit, so we might as well do that. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. It's the shepherd from Spiral 1, and he's got his goat guys. And I think he only appears here for whatever reason. Also, I, I did see that cannon over there. Also, not entirely sure what this does, but we'll see what it does. Oh, it's going to do that. Okay. I don't know if it's timed, but if it is, oh well. We'll just come back and pound it. Right now, we gotta break open this door. Uh, how do I fire this again? Square. Oh, yes. Okay, free light gem for doing literally nothing. I'll take it. Free gems are nothing to scoff at, man. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can't charge jump in this game. For whatever reason. You can charge and jump, but it just stops your charge, so you don't actually have any extra momentum that you would in like the other spiral games where you can get bigger distances. There we go, that's a lot of gems. We're at 1400 again, not bad. We did buy a key, right? Is there a way to check if we bought a key? I don't know. Also, let's see, the map. According to this map, we haven't missed anything yet. Also, camera, camera, camera. Like, I hate if there's a wall behind you, because then it doesn't like to turn the camera. Ooh, what's this over here? Oh. You have a cool waterfall, and you can't really do anything with it? That's lame. I was expecting something way cooler. Oh, it's funny, because I'm pretty sure this is how we get back up here anyway. I think this way? Yeah, this way. Definitely this way. We got fast-moving spiky traps. Definitely not something that they used in Crocoville Swamp again. Oh, there's lots of goodies down there. There's like... Whoa! Why does it do... Why does it do that? It's the camera angle. And it's only this game, by the way. No other game I play on the PS2 does that. It's just like, yeah, no. How about we get all kinds of janky for ya? Mr. Nork over there. Also, there's not a lot of variety in the Norks in this game. That's one thing that this game suffers from that Spyro itself never did. Was enemy design and choice. Because, like, this game has very few enemy choices. While the original Spyro games almost had a unique enemy for every level. Sure, a few enemies repeated, like the, the monkey guys and stuff in Spyro 1 and all that. But for, like, one level. And there's still, like, 50 different enemies in the game, you know? This game, not so much. We're back onto plants, crocodiles, and those stupid freaking uh, norks again. Like, you can't tell me that any of those are unique. Alright, give me these gems. Thank ye, my good sirs and madams. Why did it do that? Did you see that? It spun the camera around and then was just like, yeah, how about no? 
Oh my god, this game sometimes, man. It'll be the death of me. Did we check over here? I think this is just an enemy, right? Alright, we'll go through the Bat Cave. Let's see if we... Oh, it's gonna branch off into two locations this time. Okay, we got... Oh, this spot. I remember this one. This one's a bit of a challenge. Oh, yeah, I like this. It's like a... A dark crystal, or dark gem river. I don't know why I say dark crystal, but there we go. Activate. So now we get to use the cannon. And we need 10, so you do need to destroy every single dark gem in this game. Uh, let's see, we still need to go up higher. Higher and higher. Oh, now it's too high, apparently. There we go. I don't get why it's not circle to exit. Like, the fact that they kept some of the controls the same as Spyro, and then some of them unique to this game is just really weird, and that was scary game. Come on. I was like... I was hitting the rock, but the game was like, how about no? Oh my god, are these guys going to be impossible to hit? Did that seriously just slightly skim his head? Alright. I think we need to go up one more for this one. Or not. I don't even know. It's hard to tell, man. Like, what the... Come on, game. Like, every time I swear I go... There we go. I was gonna say, every time I seem to get close to him, it just... Kind of just sways out of the way. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so camera angles, please be generous to me. Thank you. Alright, so this way looks like it's a dead end. Why is there a crocodile here? It is a dead end. It's another one of these swirly eggs. I do really like the music for it, though. Like, the music for collecting stuff in this game is, like, just super intense. So what do we got over here? This is... Oh my god, this level is huge when you look at it. I don't want to destroy these because I do see... Something up here. Oh, it's the door that requires 70 light gems. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, you can't actually break these. I forgot all about that. Um, there's also a dragon statue over here. That's kind of interesting. I don't know what's going on with that, but there is a dark gem over here. So, I think we'll destroy this. Is this number three or two? It was number three. Also, did the game never tell us how to swim? Does this game even have swimming physics in it? I don't know. Do we have to learn how to swim? I, I actually really don't know. Oh, never mind. You can actually swim. So what do we got in here? Oh, it's a light gem. Perfect. Is this number 70 yet? Yeah, by the way, to get all the gems, you're going to need... Or all the gems. To get all the eggs, you're going to need all the light gems. So light gems are kind of your primary thing outside of the dark gems. It's really weird how, like, because of the active camera, it drags you back down. Alrighty, here. Let's see what we got going on over... I don't even know what the heck that was. I, I don't care about you. You're just an enemy that drops gems anyway. Like, do I really care about that? The bone meringue user. I don't know how that hit me, because his first throw didn't... Oh yeah, there we go. That's probably where we're going to end the episode, is right there. Because that's a new gimmick, new uh, idea. God, so many bats. And they're huge. Oh yeah. Wow, that secret area is actually massive. And requires... Wow. 
Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So I guess we'll go back and do the sparks thing in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment about anything you guys want. And uh, join the Discord in the link below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.